Glad to be joined on the Eagles Insider Podcast presented by Lincoln Financial Group by the Stullet. <laughs> Jack Stull, that Jack Stull, that's where exactly I'm going, man. You like we can talk tight end all you want, but I'm going to the mullet stullet first. Let's do it. And what I don't understand as a young fellow that you are, is it in the world of social media, with the with the mullet that you are rocking, that you have not taken advantage of your social media and turned this into an empire? Listen, I've I haven't been one to uh, you know do too much on social media. You know, I'm, know I'm, I'm, I'm on there a little bit, but no, nothing crazy. You know, I mean, to be honest with you, it started in college. Me and another buddy, we were in one of our marketing classes, and I mean, you got tired from those five a.m.s just to spice it up. We said, "Hey, we'll grow, we'll grow our hair out, see what happens." And <laughs> next thing you know, here we are, and I've done it a couple more times, and he has too. So, hey, it's it's just been riding and just something we do. So we enjoy it, and <laughs> hey, we never we never meant to make any money off it. So. <laughs> well, but like like the weird thing is your your uh, your Instagram is look only sixteen posts, um, very serious like. Very eagle stuff. By the way, if you want to follow Jack Stoll on Instagram, we encourage you to do so. Stoll underscore Jack. Um, but just 16 posts, all like great action photos of you. I think it's really cool. On Twitter, though, like you haven't posted much. And there was this, this series um, of tweets that you had. It was all guys who like committed or had photos of mullets um, at, at Stoll Jack on Twitter. Um, but you have, was that like did you, you didn't know all those guys, right? Or did you know all those guys and they just all had mullets? It, or are you just like looking for people who have mullets? No, I'll tell you what. A lot of them I did end up knowing. So it was like <laughs> I said, it turned into a craze at Nebraska where it was like me and this kid started it. Next thing you know, another dude had it. Another dude was growing it. And then next thing you know, you blinked and it was like, damn, there was 10 dudes on there with it. So me, me and him take pride in that. We're the originators of it. <laughs> and so we'll, we'll take credit. You know, I know there was that stuff in the 80s where it started, but hey, we, we like to think we were the originators now, at least. Is Joe Dirt like a, a an idol of yours? Every every day, baby. <laughs> hey, you just strive to be like him. Uh, but, but here's the weird thing about the mullet. Um, in your pro day, uh, there's a video of you running without a shirt on and you're like, your mullet is like blowing in the breeze. Aerodynamic. Then by the time you got here, the mullet was gone. <laughs> you know, I, I think I had enough sense to realize, hey, being an undrafted <laughs> cat coming in here can't be making a statement like right. that. You know, be, uh, yeah, you, you just can't do some stuff like that. But like I said, you know, got a year under my foot. So, hey, I, I said, hey, let's bring her back a little bit. So, <laughs> hey, it's it's been a uh, been a fun ride. It, it, and what a journey, Jack. As a, I mean, making it in 2021, not drafted. We talked last year about it. Um, as you have some perspective, you know, what was the key to your success? You know, I, I think the biggest thing is, you know, number one, you just go in, you work hard every single day, do everything you can. But at the end of the day, there's a little bit of luck that's involved with it. And so, you know, I had a couple of people on my side who, you know, I think, you know, things just fell my way. And, you know, I know a lot of guys who are in a similar situation and, you know, probably more talented. It was just they, they didn't find their niche. They didn't find the perfect spot. And I think the Eagles ended up being the perfect spot for me. So, um, you know, I think it's a culmination of, you know, working hard, doing everything I could, making sure the coaches knew I was here to get better. And, you know, man, I was about business. But at the end of the day, like I said, it just takes a little bit of luck, too. And I think I had that fall my way and I couldn't be luckier to have it like that and I couldn't be more grateful to Howie and everyone here in this organization for it so you know I, I just I, I count my lucky stars every single day so every time I suit up and I'm, I just remember how lucky I am. When you came into Philadelphia and you saw Zach Ertz and Dallas Goddard and Richard Rogers and and I know you went to Nebraska and I know it's a great lineage there but like was there any moment of whew, Man, this is, this is a pretty heavy company here. Oh, absolutely. I think anyone who says they don't do that is lying um, or delusional. You know, I came in and realized that those were a lot of great guys, and I took it as I can come in, I can learn from these guys, and, you know, I'll be competing with them, obviously, every single day. But, you know, it's a, it's a great chance to get better. And so, you know, number one, I think it was a great culture in that room. You know, I think Dallas and Rich, you know, they did an unbelievable job of just coming in and, you know, making sure that, you know, I felt – I felt at home in that room. And so, you know, they, they did an unbelievable job. You know, I think Dallas still does an unbelievable job. I mean, he'd go out to dinner, you know, he's very cognizant of making sure, you know, we're building that camaraderie off the field too. So, you know, having someone like Dallas who's at the helm right now, being able to learn from him, it's been unbelievable. Getting open in college, maybe you're a better athlete than the guy covering you in the NFL. 
you're not going to be a better athlete. There's just no, no, no one guy's better athlete. So how do you get open in the NFL? Is it the precision of the routes? Is it how you come out of your routes? Is it how you set the guy up? Is it all of the above? Is it just the nuances of the position that we can't understand because we don't play it? It's, it's, it's just, you know, that term everyone uses. It's just, it's route running. Um, you know, it's just knowing when to threat and leverage, knowing what coverage they're in, knowing the soft spots in the zone. It's, it, it's really everything. It's turning your toe at the top. It's, you know, it's, it's a whole huge group of things that's bundled into one term that's route running. And so that's really the biggest thing is just having the technique, having the knowledge of the game to know what coverage it is, to know how to run this route. And, you know, cause when you draw routes on paper, I mean, it's just, it's just lines. And I'll tell you what, if you go look at the tape, I, no one really runs those lines too often in the NFL. It's always, you gotta, you gotta threaten leverage. You gotta understand who you're running it off of. So I think that's really the biggest thing is like 90% of players in the NFL, they don't win off of athleticism alone. It's off of, you know, route running. It's off of knowledge of the game and stuff like that. And I think that's the biggest thing to me between college and pro is just having that mental side of the game to it. And, you know, you're not going to go out athlete every, someone every single week. So that's to me, that's the coolest part about the NFL is it turns into a mind game. It's a chess game, and you just go out there and, you know, try to win every single week. What is watching film like for you? Fun? Oh, yeah. Listen, I, I love watching film just from the standpoint of, you know, you can end up seeing, you know, what the, what the other team's doing, what they're trying to do. And like I said, it's like it's it's like a game of chess. Everyone goes out there and, you know, they try to, you know, come up with a better strategy. So you're trying to watch watch tape, figure out what their strategy is. And, you know, to be honest with you, we got a great staff here who they make it really easy for us. And, you know, they'll they'll present what they're doing and you go watch the tape and you're like, that's exactly what they're doing. So I, I think here in Philadelphia, we're, we're extremely blessed. We got some people who are willing to do that and make it easier on us so that, you know, to be honest with you, we're not going to work. Those people are going to be much better at dissecting film than what we are. We can get a feel of the game, watch players do stuff like that. But schematically, I think we got some of the best coaches in the world just from the standpoint of telling us what they're doing. And so, you know, just being able to absorb what they've, what they've taught us is some, something of tremendous value. And, you know, I, I didn't realize I was a part of the game really in college till I got here. So it's been, it's been awesome having that. 